kama wewe baba Hakuna mungu kama wewe baba Wabaraka Wabaraka zote Sasa tunaimba wewe ni epeneza Mahali tumefika tumeona mkono wako Na sasa tunaimba wewe ni epeneza Mahali tumefika tumeona mkono wako Na sasa tunaimba wewe ni epeneza Mahali tumefika tumeona mkono wako Na sasa tunaimba Sasa tunaimba, wewe ni epeneza Mahali tumefika, tumeona mkono wako Na sasa tunaimba, wewe ni epeneza Mahali tumefika, tumeona mkono wako Na sasa tunaimba, wewe ni epeneza Mahali tumefika, tumeona mkono wako Na sasa tunaimba, wewe ni epeneza Ebenezer, 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 
He protected my family and no one was, uh, was sick because of COVID. I thank We have a reason to thank him. Hallelujah. Amen. You can clap your hands as we praise him. Sabi 
Wami ni wudu kumeza mwami Mwami ushimwe ushigwe hezuru Tugwe ichuwe ilo chose muri kikitondo Tukuna vikwiri ya mwami Kumbi joa koze Kumbi mirimu ya maboko ya mwami Ura kwiri ichuwe ilo chose chose muri kikitondo Na undu kikwiri ya hanu nuwe ugusa mwami Na undu kikwiri ya hanu atari uwe yesu Wa hawi zina rinutu ya ndi mazina yose Wizuluwa na mwifi ni kuzimu Kira ngo buri rudi miungu ami yesu Rivili fuka mimberi ilijo zina Na buri rudi miungu ya chule yukuru mga Tuku hai Tuka hiro Tura ku
Wanje Siza Kena Hallelujah Haja Misha Muchanya Chugati Uisi Anjani Uha Nekwa Mazada Su Asubisi Nekia Mubukingo Asubisi Oh, my. 
For the clubs to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. 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 We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are God the Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, O Lord. We give you, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. Hallelujah. You are worthy, O Lord.
Hallelujah. Your man is great. Our God is great. Mami man atragushimiye. Tugushimiye kuri mani hebuje. Tugushimiye kuri mani komeye. Mungeri muzi tugushimiye kubiri tera ni roria kabiri mami mana. Tugushimiye yukuri mana ya chuo. Tugushimiye kuru buhungiro ya chuo. Kristo mwiza tugushimiye yuko bayo kwizerwa mu buzima bwacu tuguha icyubahiro kubya byose tugukomeye amashi mwami Yesu uhabwe icyubahiro ushirwe hejuru uri imana yacu uri byiringiro byacu ayo mashi ni muyakome ayo mwami mwami wacara kwiriye mwami wacara kwiriye uwo mwami wacara kwiriye ishimwe n'icyo byawe mu izina rya Yesu amen 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 Mwichare mugiza bw'Imana. Is seated in God's glory. Imana yo mwijuru ibaho mugisha cyane. May the good God bless you. Trashima Imana yuko ari Imana yo kwizerwa. We thank God because he is a trustful God. Ubu ni kuba badufunguriye ni ubwa kabiri twongeye guterana. This is our second service. Uh, Trashima Imana. We thank God for. Trashima Imana. We thank God for. Trashima Imana nokuri. Imana yo mwijirishimwe. May God be praised. Ikindi cyakabiri dushima Imana. Another thing that we thank God for. Nuko byivuse twabanye iteraniro rya kabiri. That we have got a, a second service. Twiyandikishaga tugasanga umubare wageze wuzuye. We used to register ourselves and we find that the number has been uh, finished. Ariko Imana ishimwe yuko twabanye iteraniro rya kabiri. We thank God because we have another service. Nekereza ku muntu wese ufite inyota yo kuza mu nzu y'Imana. I think that everyone that is thirsty to come in the house of God. Nekereza ku muntu wese ukeneye kuza mu nzu y'Imana. Everyone that is happy to be in the house of God. Nta rwitwazo narumwe. Does not have anything. Kugeza mu masaha 5 nabonaga kwiyandikisha bigikunda. Up to 11 a.m. Uh, uh, regist registration was still going on. Which means that uh, there were still classes. So we thank God for that. And I think that when we leave this place, we are going to communicate to others through WhatsApp that we have another message. And there are those that do not receive messages from Omega. But I believe that God is going to continue helping us in everything. May God be praised. I welcome in the name of Jesus. May good God bless you. May good God bless you. May good God take care of you. If I clap our hands to receive that, because I'm proclaiming May good God support you. May good God look at you with a with a, with with good eye. Let me tell you, God uh, most of the time looks us with a kind eye, but sometimes He looks us with a bad eye also. When we are in an unworthy place, God is not pleased with that. But I'm always happy with God. Because when we are in a worthy place, He looks us with a kind eye. And He's pleased with us. I thank that. May God. God bless you. I welcome you. Probably we have visitors among us. If you're a visitor, we are not going to hug you because of the reason that you know. There's no one that is going to touch you. We recognize you, Kuhari. We will be uh, happy to recognize you. If you're a visitor, I plead with you. Please, please stand up as we as we receive. May God bless you. May God bless you. We are happy for you. Though we cannot hug you. Though we cannot greet you. May God God take care of you. And be at ease. And be blessed with us. May God do good. May you be seated. Amen.
Amen. Hari mwene data nifuje kwakira warumaze igihe hafi umwaka atari kumwe natwe. I want to receive a brethren that has been uh, that has not been with us. Hari mushiki wacu fifi ahaguruke tumwakire muramuzi. Fifi we know her. Imana yamwijiriwe ahumugisha ikuturakwakirie. We welcome you fifi. Yaramaze igihe kirenze umwaka. It's been away for a year. Atari kumwe natwe. Not gathering with us. Yari yaragiye ariko agiye urugendo rugwiza agiye kubyara had gone to give birth but we thank God that uh, God increased their family we thank God that uh, among the people we prayed for God answered them Fifi, welcome and welcome in the ministry Amen Amen we are going in another moment of giving tithe and offerings ariko nkuko mubizi nuko uburyo ubu turimo gukoresha no buryo bwo gutanga amaturo ducishije kuri momo and the way we give our offerings is through mobile money mushobora kuri kureba kuri screen ku muntu waba ufite ituro ryo kuri mobile money nibwo buryo bwiza yakoresha if you have an offering please uh, check your uh, on the screens niba rero bitashoboka kuri telefone if it is not possible on uh, mobile money mu rwego rwo kubahiriza amabwiriza turaza kugusaba ugende uhaguruka umwe kundi we are going to request you uh, in order to 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 obey the rules you are going to stand up one by one as you bring your offering uh, here on front nubona mugenzi wa wahagurutse rwose ntibize kugira ikibazo ubanze utegereze aveyo noneho na ubone kuza when you see your neighbor standing up you wait for that person to come back and then you go kugira ngo tukubahiriza amabwiriza ya covid so that we obey the bidashoboka yuko wabo bamani yaka akafuka mu wakawe uh, maybe you you have uh, 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 removed your mask ndakwingize ngo kazamure please raise it kandi ni umva umuko tarimo kwinjira neza ushora gusoka gakeya ugafata umwuka warangiza kongera kugaruka and you feel somehow you're suffocating please go outside and then you come back later zero imana yumwijiba umugisha dutsura may god bless you as we give our offerings abaririmbye badufasha as the worship team helps us amen Vicha tu
Jesu, mi Jesu, zina ričoše, mi uenci. Sashimwe praise Jesus Yes ashimwe praise Jesus Tujiye kwakira ijambo ry'Imana We're going to receive the word of God Imana ibaho umugisha ku bantu bose batanze amaturo yabo God bless you to those who have given their offerings Kandi munyemerere imitima yacu ifungukire kumva ijambo ry'Imana And allow me so that our hearts can open to receive the word of God Munyemerere dukoma amashyi twakira ijambo ry'Imana Amen to clap our hands as we come the word of God Amen Amen. Praise God. Iman shimwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Iman shimwe cyane. It is a privilege to be here again today. Na mahirwe kuba hangaha uyu munsi. It's always a privilege to speak on behalf of God. Iteka ryose na mahirwe kuvugira Imana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I want us to I want to talk about why we were created. One of the reasons why we were created. We were created for fellowship. We were created for fellowship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read with me Genesis chapter 2. And we are reading from verse 18 to 24. Sometimes I forget that I'm growing old so I can't see. Amen. And it says, Then the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone, I will make a helper corresponding to him. The Lord God formed out of the ground every wild animal and every bird of the sky and brought each to the man to see what he would call it. And whatever, and whatever the man called a living creature, that was its name. The man gave names to all the livestock, to the birds of the sky, and to every wild animal, but for the man no helper was found corresponding to him. So that the Lord caused deep sleep to come over the man, and he slept. God took one of his ribs and closed the flesh at that place. Then the Lord God made the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to the man. And the man said, this one, at least, is born of my bone and flesh of my flesh. This one will be called woman, for she was taken out of man. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and bonds with his wife, and they become one flesh. Bibiri iravuga ngo kandi uwiteka imana iravuga iti si byiza ku umuntu aba wenyine reka muremera umufasha umukwiriye uwiteka imana irema mu butaka amatungo yose n'inyamaswa zo mwishyamba zose n'inyoni n'ibisiga byo mu kirere byose ibizanira uwo muntu ngo imenye uko abyita kandi uko uwo muntu yise ikintu cyose gifite ubugingo aba ari ryo ribizina ryacyo uwo muntu yita amatungo yose n'inyoni n'ibisiga byo mu kirere n'inyamaswa zo mwishyamba zose ariko umufasha umukwiriye yarataraboneka uwiteka imana isinziza uwo muntu buticura arasinzira imukura mu rubavu rumwe ihasubiza inyama urwo rubavu uwiteka yakuye muri uwo muntu iruhindura umugore imushyira uwo muntu aravuga ati uyu ni igufwa ryo mu magufwa yanje nakara ko mu mara yanje azitwa umugore kuko yakuwe mu mugabo 
nicyo gituma umuntu azasiga se na nyina akabana n'umugore wa karamata bombi bakawumubira umwe amen amen i believe it's okay to remove this mask while i'm standing here so i think those are the rules dibaza ko byemewe kuba nakuramo mask yige mpagaza imbere let us pray ikadusenge our heavenly father we want to thank you Lord, we don't take this for granted. We don't take it for granted. Lord, we have been away. We have not been meeting together. And we know the value of fellowship. Now we know the value of being part of your family. Now we know what it actually means to be part of your community. So we pray this day today that we may understand your heart, O oh Lord, towards your community. And we pray, O oh Heavenly Father, for those who are here and those who are following us virtually, O oh Lord, that we may come to understanding of, the, of God's purpose in creating us. And know that God created us for communion and for community. In the name of Jesus we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You probably have a strange feeling about this sermon, the way it has started. And especially because I'm using a text that we always use. Uh, that we always use when we are celebrating weddings and marriages. You might have heard this so many times. And you're asking yourself where I'm heading to with this. But we're living in strange times. We're living in very, very strange times. So if you're feeling strange, that is okay. Yes, that's how we are these days. It's no, my first time to, to preach to people that I cannot actually tell who they are. When you look at the face, you can't tell who it is. It's, real, it's very hilarious. So these are strange times. Very, very strange times. We have been forced apart completely. We have, we have been estranged from each other by a virus. We have lost sense of closeness. We have lost sense of family. Well, some of them have gained sense of family, actually, I'm told. Because there are some people who actually thought their family was somewhere else, out of their own family. Then the lockdown brought them back into their immediate families. One, one of my friends, one, one of the people I know told me the most strange thing is not being at home, but it's being there when you're sober. Uh, <laughs> so these are very strange times. <laughs> if he knew that some of us are very sober at home, he would not wonder. You know, with all the scientific advancement that the world is facing today, with all technology, with all that we know, that I can stand here and somebody in the corner of the world somewhere can follow this message live. Because 
Well, they're not aware, they, I'm, I'm sure they're awake somewhere in Asia or in New Zealand in some place, they are, they are probably following this message. In a short while, when people wake up in North America, they will follow this message. And you can imagine how that is done. You, you, I think you all know how that, that happens. That is technology. That is technology. A couple of years ago, actually about three decades ago, uh, this was not possible. I used, I, I used something called a post office for those who do not know what that is. And I wrote to my parents and they got the letter two months after or three months after. It was actually hilarious because once I went home, I went home three months after I had written a letter. And when I got there, the letter had not arrived there. Then I was there for a month and I went back to school. Then I went back again this particular time. I went back after six months. Seven months. And the letter arrived while I was there. And you can imagine I didn't want them to read it because whatever I had written, well, they read it, but I didn't want them to read it. But what I'm trying to say here is that with all this technology, we are confined by a microscopic virus. It has confined us in our families. It has confined us in our homes. It has confined us in our countries. It feels strange that I've been, I haven't traveled for the last six months. And do you know what? The only effective prevention against infection is staying apart. It is staying apart. It's not. It's avoiding anything social. It's staying away from your brother and your sister. It's staying away from those who need you. My mother is 87 years, so they tell us that she is very vulnerable, so we should stay away from her. And yet she actually needs that company. She needs that companionship. This, brethren, are strange times. These are strange times. These are very, very strange times. These are evil times. And, and you know what? People think actually that the evil has just come with COVID-19. COVID-19 is just an icing on the cake. Because the evil times have been with us now for a time, for a while. They started a while ago. And the devil is an expert. He's an expert of creating turbulence at a time when we think things are going very well. Imagine with all this technology, with all the medical advancement, with everything that we can think of, this small virus that we cannot see with our naked eye is keeping us in confinement. And the devil is an expert. 
You know, several years ago, uh, very many countries passed laws stopping people from worshipping publicly. When I was growing up, uh, there, were, there were a lot of street preachers. Every corner you turned, there was somebody telling you that Jesus is, Jesus is the answer. In fact, when I, was in, when I was in school, there was a particular bus stop that I went to, that, that I went to every day. There was, the, there was a very good band that, that played music there, worship music, from 3.20 all the way to 5.30. These, these were blind people people with disability and people who had different disabilities. But, but for a boy who was 16 at that time, I was edified by those people. And I want to tell you that every day I felt like I have been to church whenever I passed that bus stop. I let three buses pass before I could board another one. Why? Because that was possible at that time. In many countries today, you cannot do that. In many countries, if you did that, you'd be arrested. And things have completely changed. And the internet has also completely altered our social interaction. And society has become virtual. Our relationships are very distant. Everything, we were completely removed. And now with COVID-19 measures, the lockdowns, the social distancing, all isolations. The enemy is challenging the resilience of the church and the family of God. He is once again testing the people of God. And I want to tell you that this will not be the first time that the enemy has tested the people of God. And this is not the first time that the enemy has wanted to undermine God's family. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 1, the devil asks Eve, uh, a very interesting question, actually. Very, very interesting question. And then the, this is how the devil does things. He will ask you a question, and then he will suggest an answer. And that's how the devil works. He will ask you a question. Then you will wake up to a situation. And when your mind is actually resting to find an answer. He proposes an answer so quietly and so nicely. And here the devil comes and tells. And, here, and by the way people don't like, don't like hearing about the devil these days. They don't like people, they don't like preachers talking about the devil. But it's interesting because the devil has not moved, he's still there. He has not changed, he's still tempting. He's still stealing and he's still destroying. He's still the same. He hasn't changed. So wishing him away will not change him. Nothing. And the devil asked Eve, 
Did God really say you can't eat from any tree in the garden? You know? Did God really say? On an, in another verse, I think it's verse 4. He says you will not die. You know, if runs through all that God had said. Verse 2 and 3, and she explained what God had said to Adam. That we will die if we eat this, we will die. And it's like the devil is saying, ah, 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 I didn't say. I didn't talk about who talked about death. Who talked about death? But anyway, you will not die. You know? And that's what the devil says. That's what the devil does. And that's what he's doing today. Because we have been following our services on online. Because God has opened that door for us. Because God has made it possible. We think this is where the church has moved. We think the family of God is virtual. We are thinking it's okay, I can sit at home and I will hear the word of God. But being a Christian and being, it means being part of a community of God. Being a Christian you are a follower of Christ. And we are going to see that. And God says, it is not fit. It is not right. And you know, God is saying this after he had created human beings. After all the creation, God sat back and said, ah, this is very good. And then he goes back and says, No, no, no. It's not right for man to be alone. We are not created for loneliness. We are not created for isolation. That's why People went, people went bananas with, the, with confinement, with lockdown. People went crazy. The place where I live, people who have never lifted their, fe their feet to run. People you could look at and say, this person, the only thing, the only place they can exercise is in their mind. To be fair, I did. I actually met a person. And I looked at this person. And I said, yes, it's very difficult for me. But I, I looked at this person. And I said, I am very, very sure. The only exercise she has ever done is in her imagination. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But there are things that we cannot do on social media. There are things we cannot do virtually. There are many things that we cannot, whether, it's, whether you are Christian or secular or anything, you cannot do that. You cannot have a remote relationship. It's, the, the lockdown has come with a lot of stories. Somebody was telling us that somebody had, uh, had a wife and one lived very far and the another one very far, far apart. And the man made sure he called every day. 
and the woman made sure they had first time every week hanyuma uwo mugore nawe akamenya yuko bagomba guhamagara na barebana kuri video buri cyumweru and they share the whole world virtually mbese ubwo buzima niko bari babubayemo mu buryo bwiyakure but it was during it, it was during lockdown hanyuma mu gihe cyaguma mu rugo and when the lockdown was lifted igihe guma mu rugo yoroshwaga abantu basohoka the man told the woman i think i'm coming i'm coming home umugabo yabwiye umugore ati ndumva ngiye gutaha no, the woman said no 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 it is okay we can still live together virtually umugore aravuga ati na kibazo byihorere dushobora gukomeza kubana mu buryo bwiya kure nkuko twabanaga and the man said no 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 it's time now to come i'm really stressed umugabo aravuga toya igihe cyageze cyo gutaha ngo and the woman said no umugore aramuga toya you remember when i told you not to go uribuka igera kugira ngo ntugende you said you said you can call me Say we can connect we can connect on Facebook. We can call on phone. On Skype. No kuri Skype. On Zoom. No kuri Zoom. On all those things. Muri byo ubwo buryo bwose. And he said now I think that is a very good marriage that we have. Aravuga ati rero ndibaza ko urwo rushako rwose dufite ruhagaze neza. Stay away. Tukomeze tubeho dutandukanye. The, the, the man was not convinced. Umugabo ntiyabyemera. He took a plane and he went home. Afata indege aza mu rugo. And he found his wife. Asanga umugore we was married to another man. Yari yashakaye nundi mugabo. And he was like who is this man? Avuga tuyu mugabo ninde? And the woman said, ati, "This is my real husband." Uyino mugabo wanje nyawe. And you are my virtual husband. Na uru mugabo wanje uyakure. Now you can imagine that kind of life. What does it mean to be part of God's family? What does it mean to be create to be created for community? The Bible tells us that God saw all that he had created and said it was good except that the man was alone. And you know God did not go back and create a dog because some people find companionship in a dog these days. And he had already created a dog. God did not create a cat. He had already created that. He did not create a bunny. He put a man to sleep. And out of him, he took out a woman. And, and verse 24 tells us. And it explains the reason why God did that. That the man should leave their family. Yuko umugabo agomba gusiga umuryango we leave his family asibuga umuryango we and go and create another family akagenda kare mu ndi muryango so that even the children who will be born out of that union kugyango nabana bazavukira muri uwo muri ugo bumwe will find a family bazagira umuryango so family is god's business rero umuryango ni gahunda y'Imana family is god's business umuryango ni gahunda y'Imana because it has always been god's business ko yahoza ari gahunda y'Imana kuva mbere hallelujah hallelujah family is the best thing that has ever happened to anybody umuryango nicyo kintu kiza kibaho gishobora kuba ku muntu you know we we have these days we have everything virtual Muri iminsi ibintu byose dushobora kubibona mu buryo bw'ikorana buhanga. I was in a wedding a while ago. Ah, mu minsi ishize nagiye mu bukwe. Then I realized we want as few as we thought. Hanyuma nza gusanga kuko twari bakeya. Because when I got home when I got home some some people at home had actually been part of that wedding. Ah, gihe nageze mu rugo nasanze hari abantu bashoboye gukurikira ubwo bukwe. So not because they are they are virtual weddings kuba hari ubukwe abantu bashobora gukurikirana mu buryo wikorana buhanga you see there is a difference between a wedding and a marriage hari tandukaniro hagati y'ubukwe n'urushako cyangwa urugo there's there is a difference between a phone call and conversation hari tandukaniro hagati yo guhamagarana no kugirana ikiganiro there is a difference between seeing and viewing hari tandukaniro hagati yo kubona no kwitegereza hallelujah amen amen 
So not everything can be virtual. Because there is such a thing as a virtual wife, a virtual husband, virtual children. Although I think with homeschooling these days, most parents would rather have virtual children. Hallelujah. Brethren, we are God's family. We are part of God's family. And this is a consistent message in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And the You know, this month the church is focusing on being part of the community, part of a community of God. What is the value of being part of the community of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are looking, we are all looking at what it means to be part of God's family. And I have had a privilege of talking about this for the last couple of weeks. Four two weeks. And if there is a very difficult topic, this is the worst topic that any preacher can preach about. At this time, in this time and age, when people think they are together, when they are actually not, when people think because they can see you on the screen, then they have seen you. In my fellowship group on, uh, on Wednesday, uh, I was just giving an illustration to the people, to the, to the to, to colleagues that we were meeting. And I told them you can see my torso. But do you know whether I have legs or not? You can see my face. If I don't open my if I don't open my lips, will we will you know that I have lost teeth? Or will you look at me and know that I have a toothache? It is not possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first and very important thing to know is to know that we have been created by God for fellowship. Why? Because God's presence dwells in, in our fellowship. God had a purpose creating us. And he had a purpose creating a family. He had a purpose creating a community. After he creates man and woman, he says, be fruitful. Fill this world so that there are people all over the world. And he gave them he gave them the intelligence to even create computers and the internet and all that. And God knew. God knew that somebody was going to invent a computer. God knew that there was going to be an internet. When God was creating, he knew I would stand here and I would be speaking and somebody thousands of miles or even millions of miles away can actually hear what I'm saying and can see me. But for those thousands of years, those thousands of years, the church, the community of God has persisted. 
muri iyo myaka yose itorero umuryango w'Imana wahozeho that should give you a very important message today icyo cyaka guhaye ubutumwa bw'ingenzi cyano and it should tell you that god values his community ibyo bigomba kubwira yuko Imana ihagaciro abantu bayo did you know by the way that there are spiritual beings that you cannot touch that cannot touch each other that you cannot look at and see did you know that those were created by God as well then why did God have to create us with a body with emotions with sight with the ears with taste why why did why did god create us and create us that way instead of creating me like i would have loved to be a spirit person can you imagine standing here and thinking i need to be in brussels right now and you find yourself there there are so many places I'd love to be right now and I can be there as a spirit but not as a human being and that's why you are very important to God because he created you as a special being and created you for communion and he put Adam down and he made him sleep took out a reed created another person did not he did not need he did not need to say here comes another person we are created by his hands for a purpose for fellowship and his presence dwells with us brethren we are physical beings whether we like it or not we are not virtual I hope you can see me and I think you can see me much better than you see me on television now you can see me because sometimes even the images on the screen are totally different depending on the speed of your internet hallelujah amen Matthew chapter 18 verse 20. I'm not going to read all the scriptures, so I'll just run through them. We are running out of time. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there among them. Where two or three gather in my name. We can come together on Zoom. We can come together on Zoom. Because these are strange times indeed. These are difficult times. But remember you belong to a family of God you belong to a spiritual family of God you belong to a physical family that is your family the one you are born into and you belong to a family that you start and your children and your grandchildren will start their own family you are still interconnected with those families we belong to this country it's another family but we have another family we have a spiritual family and we belong to that spiritual family and as long as you are born again 
That means you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That means you are a person of faith. That means you are a believer. That, that means you are a person convicted of your own shortcomings and you have changed. You are a part of God's family. You are a part of God's family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus says, Twelve three. Where they gather, where they come together, there I will be among them. I will be among them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you are alone, Jesus is among you and who? You and who? Because Jesus didn't die just for you. Jesus died for the people of God. That is why we talk about a kingdom. We do not talk about a bedroom. We are not talking about just you. We are talking about a people of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are talking about God who created us for fellowship. Listen to what God says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 12 to 16. This I'm going to read. And it says, Then the Lord appeared to Solomon at night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple of sacrifice. I have heard your prayer and I have chosen this place. Now, the, today, people are actually talking about I don't need to go to church. The church is not a building. The church is not a building. And indeed the church is not a building. Just as a home is not a house. The, a home becomes a home because there are homemakers in the home. And the temple is a temple because there are worshippers of God in that temple. So it cannot be just a house. And that's why Solomon prays after building a temple and God comes down. And God says, because you have asked me, I have heard your prayer. Hallelujah. And this place, this Place for myself as a temple of sacrifice. Where people serve me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It says, if I close the sky so there is no rain, if I command the grasshopper to come and to consume the land, or if I send pestilence on my people and my people who are called by my name first humble themselves pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways then I will hear from heaven because God dwells in heaven he doesn't dwell in houses then I will hear from heaven forgive their sin and heal their land Aravuga ngo ni ndamuka nkinzi ijuru imvura ntigwe cyangwa ni ntegeka inzige ngo zone igihugu cyangwa ni nohereza mu giga mu bantu banje maze abantu banje bitiriwe izina ryanje nibicisha bugufi bagasenga bagashaka mu maso hanje bagahindukira bakareka ingeso zabo mbi nanye nzuva ndi mu ijuru mbabare igicumuro cyabo bakiriza igihugu God is going to make all those changes Imana izazana izo mpinduka zose because people are going to pray people are going to pray for they were going to pray to him they were going to pray to him in in the temple 
They were going to pray in the temple. They were going to call the name of God in that temple. And, and here he is talking about on the conditions of belonging to the temple. He says, I may send all those things. I may punish people because they because they because they are disobedient. But if those who are called by my name. Brothers and sisters, the church is not for non-believers. The church is for believers. So maybe the devil has been asking you, do you really have to go to church? God didn't say you go to church. Think again. Whose voice are you hearing? Whose voice are you hearing? Now that the churches are open, some churches are open, we should be running to church. A church is a very interesting place. It is a place you belong to and it is a place you go to. You cannot imagine it. It's not in your imagination. It's not an image that you see. It is a fellowship that you live. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And he says, my eyes will now be open and my ears attentive to prayer from this place. It's not saying I will log in onto Zoom. I will not, he's not logging onto Skype. He's not logging on onto YouTube. No. He is saying. My eyes will now be open. And my ear attentive to prayer from this place. Brethren, God was talking to Solomon at that time, thousands of years ago. He has not changed that even today. He never said. He never said. Don't go to church now. Because there is a computer. Because there is a phone. Because there is Facebook. Because there is Twitter. Because there is Hangout. Because there is Zoom. Zoom. Because all, because you can hear what you want to hear from YouTube. The worshippers of God go to the house of God. The worshippers of God belong to the family of God. Because your father cannot be virtual. Your father cannot be imaginary. And who has seen God anyway? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And I have now chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will be there at all times. My name will be there forever. The name of God is written. The name of God is written in his community. The name of God is written in his temple. And it will be there forever. It has not changed. You know, in this time and age, we tend to think words have changed. The Bible tells me forever. 
And then people turn around and say, oh no, this is the time of grace. Grace did not remove forever. This is, yes, indeed, this is the time of grace. Yes, we do have Jesus Christ who died for us on the cross. But he did not die to remove the name of God from the temple. He died that the name of God may be written in his temple by his blood. The name of the Lord is in his temple forever. Hallelujah. 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 My eyes and my heart will be there at all times. Every hour, every minute, every second, every millisecond, the eyes of God and his heart are here, right here, here. And if you are planning to go to church today, if you had planned, and then you decided, no, I will follow online. I want to, I have an announcement for you. I have news for you. Anything, any, any, any message that comes that that comes to you virtually the, the, the any message that you're getting now it is maybe because of the, of what we are going through because of the circumstances that we are going through or it is a message and this is a door that God has opened for us to reach those many people who will stumble on this message as they surf the internet. Because believe it or not, Satan will try and turn the situation bad. He may turn around what God has put before us for use. And we will help him, we'll help him and we will give him a leeway for him to misuse. Actually, we help him all the time. Because God can, because the, the because the Satan, Satan has no power to misuse anything. And that's why he keeps on asking you questions. He couldn't, Satan couldn't hold Eve and force her to eat the fruit. So he had to ask. He asked a question. Did God really say? Did God really say? You know, everybody hears those voices. But this is the time when you hear that voice, you should turn around and ask yourself, who is this? Who is behind me? It's like when you're talking to somebody on phone and you don't know who it is and you're saying, who is speaking? And they keep on talking and you say, no, 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 who is speaking? I want to know who's speaking first. And the devil cannot do anything. He will come and ask questions. And if you don't say who is talking, if you don't say who is it that is talking to me, now he goes on to another step. 
azakomeza ajye kwindi ntambwe and he will start suggesting atangire noneho akongorere ibintu aguha ibisubizo he will suggest an answer azaguha igisubizo because he already knows where ko arabizi where he wants you azaha gushaka hallelujah hallelujah amen amen we are brethren a family of god rero bene data turi umuryango w'Imana that is why we should think of ourselves to be people to be very important. Niyo mpamvu tugomba kumva ko turi abantu b'ingenzi cyane. John chapter 1 verse 12. Ah muri Yohana igice cy'ambere umurongo wa 12. All who did receive him. Yakora bamwemeye bose. He gave them the power to become the children of God. Yabahaye ubushobozi bwo kuba abana b'Imana. To those who believed in his name. Abize izina rye bose. Now we are his children. Rero twe turi abana b'Imana. We are we are his children. Turi abana b'Imana. And we cannot be a part of a family in our minds in our imagination kandi nako tuba mu miryango yacu mu buryo bw'ibitekerezo gusa family is very physical umuryango ni ikintu gifatika that is why we get children niyo mpamvu tubyara abana and we look after them tukanabakurikirana over a long time mu gihe kinini cyane then they grow up bakura then they leave home bakazava mu rugo then they go and make their own family bakagenda nabo bakagenda imiryango yabo ni ibintu bifatika by'umubiri if you think I'm lying to you, try telling somebody send me a child on email. And then you can hold that child and feel emotionally attached. Family is characterized by physical togetherness. You know, most of us have our children who have grown up children benshi muri twe dufite abana bakuze they don't they they don't live with us either because they are in school or some of them have their own families and other things bamwe ntago baba bana natwe ko bari mu mashuri abandi bakaba bafite imiryango yabo if there was anything that troubled us so much during the lockdown niba hari ikintu cyaduhangayikishije cyane igihe twari muri guma mu rugo it's the inability to see your children nuko dashobora kubona abana bawe and yet we were calling them and we were talking to them. But at, at the earliest opportunity to get them home, you are like, I will do anything. I want you to be here. I want to see you. Because that is what family is all about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, John the same person who wrote this. Uh, he said, Yaravuze, Brethren, we are now, we are children of God. Now as we are. We are children of God. We do not know how we will look like. But when he is revealed, we do not know we have no explanation about being spiritual children. We cannot explain it. I cannot explain it. I cannot explain, it. I cannot explain why I look the way I look and someone else looks different. But they are my brothers and sisters. We do not know why now. But we know when he is revealed, we will look like him, and therefore we don't have to ask. We won't have to ask anybody. We will not have to wonder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are children of God. Stop asking questions that have no answers. Because whether they have answers or not, there is one fact that your questions will not change. It will not change the fact that we are children of God. That's not going to change. Yes, we are different. We look different. 
and we have questions about it. That does not change the fact that we are the children of God. And when he is revealed, we shall look like him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Brethren, as I wind up, I want to tell you that it is good and pleasant. And the psalmist in Psalm 133, uh, he said it is good and, and pleasant for brothers to live together in harmony. It is like fine oil on the head, of, on the head running down on the beard, running down of Aaron's beard onto his robes. It is like the dew of, of the dew of Hermon falling on the mount on Mount Zion. For there the Lord has appointed the blessing. I find it very, very unpleasant. Uh, I find it very unpleasant to argue. Uh, or to harangue somebody, some, you know, for, for any reason at all, even when it's a good reason. To, uh, to argue or to shout or to scream uh, or to do kuba, this. Kuba na or to disagree with somebody. It makes me very uncomfortable. Seriously, it makes me very uncomfortable. That does not mean that I let wrong things happen. But that's a conversation that I don't like. I, I, I would rather be talking to, I find it very pleasant, you know, living together, loving one another, laughing and all that. You know, but sometimes you cannot do this by yourself. Unless you go into the mirror and look at yourself and make faces, and that is not fellowship. Fellowship is not talking, talking to yourself and loving the sound of your voice. It is not turning around in the mirror looking at yourself and saying, oh, I'm very well dressed, I'm looking smart. Have you ever wondered why? If you do not tell your spouse, for those who have them, or your friends, you if you don't tell them that they are smart, that they are well dressed, and mark you, you did not choose the clothes for them, they go and choose the clothes themselves. Actually, it starts with buying. They buy the clothes. They don't consult you. Then, they, then when, they, when time comes to wear them, then they wear them. Then they call you. Can you tell me? How do I look? And there is a mirror in the house. But do you know we all do it? We want that affirmation. Because we are created. We are created for that. In conclusion, therefore, we are created for fellowship. We are created to be part of God's family. We are not created for Facebook. To be together, not to imagine each other. God wants us to be together. Because our fellowship attracts his, his, his presence. We are God's family. And our love for him is expressed from those others that we love around us. It does not matter how many times 
and how, it does not matter how many times you say it. It does not matter how many times you jump in your room, you go down on your knees and do all that. If you do not congregate with others together to worship God together, raising our hands together, because that's what the Bible says, brothers and sisters, that we raise our hands as a community in worship. It does not matter whether you do it alone in your room. Ntabwo ibyo ari byo bihagije kubera yuko tugomba kuzamura ibiganza byacu nk'abantu b'Imana bari hamwe nicyo bibiri tubwira And being in God's community is the only way Abantu b'Imana umuryango w'Imana nibwo buryo bwonyine It's the only way we can be there for one another Nibwo buryo bwonyine twaba buri wese waberaho mugenzi wawe ahakeneye kuba and the Bible tells us that these are the end times. We have seen all the signs. And in the last one week, in the last one week in this church, we have had a message in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24 to 25. Uh, mu, mu, mu to twabonye, uh, ku, chachu, mnum, wama kunyana, kane, wama Go and read that again. And you will know why it's important to congregate together. Let us stand up and pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know how you're feeling in your heart. But remember that God has created you for fellowship. God has created you to be one of his family. God wants you in his family. If you haven't joined the family of God yet, you're missing out on a lot of things. Let us pray. But if you want to be part of that family of God, uh, we will pray for you. You can just step forward. Let us pray. Turagushimye cyane kubwo ijambo ryawe. Turagusaba mwami imana ngo rize mu mitima yacu rihinguranye biganze ibitekerezo byacu n'intekerezo zacu. Riduhindure mwami imana riduhindure abo wishimira nabukunda. Riduhindure mwami imana abakwiriye mu maso hawe. Ariko cyane cyane uwiteka nitubonera amahirwe yawe kuyapfusha ubusa ahubwo mwami tukomeze kugendana nawe no kugenderana na bene data no guhurira hamwe no kutibagirwa mwami imana yuko ari byiciro kuba mu muryango wawe abitiriwe izina ryawe turagushima kukuri imana yumva gusenga kwacu iteka ryose mu izina ryawe rya Yesu Kristo amen mwakoze kwihangana mwakoze kwihanganira ubushuhe nizuba thank you for being patient uh, for bearing with the heat have a in shoot is Ivana Zira Kunda Naleza Ziva Nana Yesu Zira Kunda Zira Kunda Naleza Ziva
Jesus, a hand clap for the word. Imana yo mujuru ihumujisha mukozi wa yakujambo riza jimbaraga aduhaye. The heaven God bless uh, our preacher today. Kandi zera neza yuko harichima na vugani miti mayach. And I believe that God spoke to your heart. Tujeze kumaso kumaso zerero witi na yori yachu. We've come to the end of our service. Arikongu komuizi haramatangazo. But as you know, we have announcements. Nituza kusoka rero ndaza kubasaba kugira ngo mwongere mwicare hanyuma protocol ze kudufasha kuza gusohoka so as we end this service as we are going out we will request you to remain seated so that the protocol shows you where to go kugira ngo tukubahirize amabwiriza kandi duce hahandi tugenewe guca so that we continue obeying the rules and regulations kuri uwa gatatu tugira HBF so on this Wednesday they'll be having HBF Inyigisho zoherezwa kuri audio kuri WhatsApp group za ma HBF the teaching sent to you via WhatsApp groups birashoboka iko waba utagiye uzibona maybe you do not receive those uh, messages wakwegera umuyobozi wa HBF you may uh, go and find your leader of HBF uh, for clarifications nkuko tumaze imitsi tubikora tugira amasengesho kwa gatano yo kwiriza so we have uh, fasting prayers on Friday inyigisho still ziboneka muri audio zikaza kuri WhatsApp and also the teachings will be sent to you via WhatsApp groups bicishijwe mu ma HBF duturuka mu your respective HBFs nkuko mwabibonye rero twatangiye iteraniro rya kabiri so as you've seen we've started a second service bitewe na gahunda ufite z'icyumweru because of the plans that you have during your week ushobora guhita mu iteraniro uri bugemo you can choose the service to attend kuri iki gihe ubu buryo turimo gukora tuhitamo dukanda kanyenyeri 1810 so this time we use uh, star 810 akanyenyeri jana star 100 ukiyandikisha then hash then iyo maze kuyandikisha kugira iteraniro uri buzemo niba ari rya mbere cyangwa se ari rya kabiri so you follow the rules whether you choose the first service or the second irya mbere ritangira sambiri the first service starts at 8 rikasoza saa 3 n'igice and ends at 9:30 irya kabiri ritangira saa 5 n'igice second service starts at 11:00 to 13 hours 30 mu buryo bwo kuyandikisha rero nubu buryo turimo gukoresha so uh, this is how we register haramutse abaye impamvu ituma duhindura bikajya mu HBF and if uh, this way changes then to go to HBFs icyo gihe nabwo twabimenyesha then will be communicated imana yacu shimwe cyane may god be praised ku bantu barere batabona ama SMS cyangwa se ama WhatsApp abatabona messages ce kuri WhatsApp so to receive messages uh, from WhatsApp maybe turasaba kongera kubasaba yuko wakuyandikisha kugira ngo ubone ubutumwa ndetse na gahunda z'urusengero zose please register on the information desk register number so that we can be sending you messages kubashitsi bacu for our visitors imana yemujibaho umugisha may god bless you ibi bihe bibi bitarazo ubundi ntago ariko twabigenzaga before this pandemic this is not how we used to do it twahuraga we would 
tugather tukabasuhuza welcome you tukabaha ikintu cyo gusangira and give you something uh, for sharing tukababwira bo turi bo and we tell you who we are tukababwira byinshi ku itorero and we tell you more about this church wabufe ukeneye ni sengesho rye ry'ubwihariko tukagusengera and then if you need a particular prayer then we pray for you ariko kubera iko bihe bitatwemerera but because of this circumstances nagira ngo ukomeze kumva yuko tukikutekereza kandi tukikufite ku mutima just feel welcome and know that we have you on our hearts kandi imana y'umwijiri ite gusenga kwawe and may god continue rero turashoje amateraniro yacu come to the end of our service nagira ngo mbasaye duhaguruke dusenge may you stand up and we pray hanyuma muze kubahiriza ya mabwiriza yo kugira ngo tuze gusohoka neza tutegeranye so i think you will uh, continue to obey the rules so that we nkaba kristo tugiye gutangira icyumweru so as christians we are going to start a uh, week tugiye gusengera kugira ngo imana izabane natwe we are going to dedicate this week uh, in prayer izayobora intambwe zawe so that god will be with us izayobora intambwe zanje izaturinde ibibi byose so that you protect us from men to harm us because he is able dero zamura amaboko yawe nijwi nurangiza uyigare wongera uyibwire uyiragize iki cyumweru uyibwire ngo mana ndashaka burinzi buturuka kuri wowe mana ndashaka kuzandindira umuryango affaire zose fite ndashaka ko zizacamo business zose fite gutegura muri iki cyumweru ndashaka ko zizavamo neza abantu banje ndifuza yiko bo tuza uzabarinda my people mana yacu imana ikomeye kandi imana nziza uri imana igirinda twarakubonye waturinze mu bihe bitandukanye mwami imana tugushimiye yuko wabanye natwe muri iteraniro twonge kugushimira yuko wemeye yuko mwami imana tuva hano tusubira mu macumbi mwami imana turasenze kugira ngo umuka wera agendane natwe mwami imana turasenze kugira ngo umuka wera ntatuveho Mwami Imana turasenze kugira ngo ubuntu bwawe ukomeze kutwoma hiteka ryose. Dusenze Mwami Imana dusengera iki cyumweru. Iki cyumweru dufite ngo gahunda nyinshi. Hari inama tuzakora, hari business tuzajyamo, hari affaire nyinshi tuzagendamo. Mwami Imana turavuze ngo ubushake bwawe ari bwo buzayobora guhera ejo kugeza iki cyumweru tukirangije. Turasaba amaraso yawe ngo atwikire itorero ryawe. Turasaba amaraso yawe ngo atwikire abantu bawe. Turasaba amaraso yawe ngo atwikire imiryango yacu. Turasaba amaraso yawe ngo atwikire igihugu cyacu. Turasaba amaraso yawe ngo atwikire abanyarwanda no rwanda mwami Imana. Turasaba ngo ubuntu bwawe mwami Imana. Gabo ndi butarondoreka gongere butubeho mwami mana muri riteraniro ndabizi nabarimo kudukurikira hari abantu benshi barimo guca mu bihe bitoroshye hari abantu benshi barimo guca mu bihe bikomeye mwami mana tuzamuye amajwi yacu tuvuga ngo mwami mana wongere kubibuka wongere kumva gusenga kwabo abarimo guca mu ntambara bagirire neza abarimo guca mu bugeragezo bagirire neza abarimo guca mu bihe bikomeye bagirire neza mwizina rya Yesu turasenze ngo afite uburwaye bukire mwizina rya Yesu afite zarande vuze kujya kwa muganga Mwami Imana uzabane nabo uzabakorera igitangaza mwizi na rya Yesu turasenze ku kiganza cyawe kiburyo kiwe ku itorero rya Omega cyo ku bantu ba Omega mwizi na rya Yesu umuke wa uturasire utugirire neza mwami Imana urakoze mwami Yesu urakoze kugiye kuturinda urakoze kugiye kubana natwe urakoze kuko bace mu bihe bikomeye mwami Imana ugiye gutanga ihumure urakoze kuko bategereje amasezerano mwami Yesu databuje mu zigiye kubikora Ishimwe ni kibahiro by'ibi byawe tugende ugendane natwe kandi ukomeze kutugira neza mu izina rya Yesu amen 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 Yesu abagire neza Jesus do good to you de kansabe inyuma bagende buhoro buhoro protocole mudufashe abari inyuma bagende babereka one by one Abari rimbye batufasha mwibuke yuko nta gusuzanya remember that there's no greeting Manemwe jwa kumwe